All right, guys, welcome back to the Frugal Homestead. Now, today, I had a request for dinner. I asked my wife to make her famous healthy air fryer chicken strips. So she's gonna walk you through the process and I'm gonna get to sit down, eat all these when we're done and she gets none. None? None. You can make yourself your own batch. So these things are the whip, they're healthy. At the end of the video, I will explain how to measure them out and the calorie count on each one because you weigh them and set it up post cooking them. So. And it's way less than normal chicken strips. Way less, like a fourth. All right, get to work. All right, so. He's got to do all the cutting. Basically, you want to cut these up. The thinner you cut them, honestly, the healthier they are for you because obviously less meat is less calories. But I would say anywhere between like three eighths to a half inch is good. You better go back in and get on the couch. These are not for you. Go on. <laughs> oh. <laughs> anyway, so while he's getting all the chicken cut up, he's going to put it in the bowl. And I'm going to start making my mixture for it. Which you can see, like I said. These are nice strips. I'm going to enjoy them. You're not going to enjoy anything. This is about an eighth of a cup of almond milk. And we're just going to pour it over it and let it start getting all the chicken moistened. And this is 30 calorie almond milk, so that is like like 8 calories or something. Yeah, it's almost nothing. Half a cup of flour. I just use regular flour. Uh, you can use self rising or you can use all-purpose. makes no difference. Mine is all-purpose that I have here. Or almond or coconut, whatever, whatever you like. Just remember to look at your calories because different flowers have different calorie counts. All right, I'm going to put one teaspoon of seasoning salt. Some people use regular salt, but I like seasoning salt in almost everything. There's that. I'm also going to put one teaspoon of black pepper. Because any sort of fried chicken is not fried chicken without black pepper. One teaspoon of garlic. Because Tony's a garlic fanatic. Yep. And because we like ours a little bit spicy and you can leave this out if you want to, I add just a half a teaspoon of cayenne pepper. That'll give it just a little bit of a kick. Now I'm gonna just toss these in this almond milk. You can use water if you want, if you're really trying to watch every little calorie. But the cuts don't have to be perfect. You need to understand that. Now, as you can see, I put all of my breading and my seasoning in a Ziploc baggie. And that's just because it's so much easier. You can do this in a container or on a plate, but it's so much easier to coat them if you put it in a baggie. Yep. All right, Tony's a little anxious, but we're going to make him wait. First, we need to spray those pans. We're just going to spray them with some oil. You don't need to do it a lot, just enough so that they don't stick to the pan. I say that and then it flies out. This brand. There we go. All right. We're ready now. Probably put three in there at a time. You don't want it to put too many because they don't coat all the way around, but and just toss it a little bit like that. And I would suggest closing the top. My wife doesn't like to close the top, but for us normal people, we would get it everywhere. And then just lay them out. If 
by doing it this way it really lightly bread puts breading on the chicken strips so it's not real heavily coated as you can see there's not a ton on there but trust me it'll still come out with that nice consistency So what's your favorite sauce to use with these? Uh, the sugar-free barbecue sauce is my favorite. Okay. I can't remember the brand right now. Um, Sweet Baby Ray's. Sweet Baby it? Ray's, yeah, his new sugar-free, um, his new sugar-free version is what I like personally. And just to let you know how much I like it, we were at the store today, we checked out, we went outside. And I had to go all the way back in the store to get that barbecue sauce because I knew she was making this tonight and I wasn't going to have it without it. So give it a shot. It's like I think 15 or 30 calories and it is amazing stuff. Now mind you, you're going to want to make this to fit your family size. I would say three or four strips a person with sides or a salad is probably all you really need but then again every person and family is different at the rate of what these are you want to just throw them yeah all in. just throw them all in at the rate of what these are it almost doesn't matter if you have a plate full of these it's going to be less than three or four of them that have been fried in a fryer at a, like a fast food joint or something oh yeah so, so next step so I always spray the top of them because that gets them that much crispier. So I'm just going to do a little spray here. We're going to get these put into the air fryer and we're going to have them in there from 10 to 15 minutes. Depends on your air fryer. Um, but ours generally takes 10 to 15 minutes and flip them halfway in between. And spray them halfway in between. And spray them. So. All right. Get it going. Get out of my way. <laughs> So we will be back when it's time to take them out. And then I will get to eat and she will get none. And Apollo, you won't get any either. Stop begging. Wait, but dad. All right, guys, so they're done. So let me uh, see if I can do this without dumping them. That's what it looks like. And they are steaming hot. Now this is the sauce I was telling you about. This is Ray's no sugar added barbecue sauce. Now, I don't know if you can see that. 15 calories for two tablespoons, guys. This is the way to go because this is already low calorie, but then you can add on to have low calorie. So first of all, let's do the fun part. We'll do the, the calories and stuff after. I want you guys to If you can't hear it, my dog's in the background dying, <laughs> just panting. So. Go ahead. You got way too much barbecue sauce for me. Mm. Now, we ended up cooking ours for about 14 minutes, but look at that. It is super good. Now, we got our scale here. 1 1.4, 1.6, 1 1.7. You did pretty good at that. So they're not gonna be perfect, but we ended up with 24 strips in this batch we made. It all depend on what you do. Don't worry about the weight of the breading and stuff. It's not enough to matter in this situation. So it's 46 calories per ounce of meat. I just weigh it afterwards because that's what you're supposed to do is have cooked chicken breast when you use your tracker and you start checking it. 
Now she used 200 calories worth of flour to bread this. So if you take the 200 and divide it into the 24, add the weight and all that, you, we've decided you'd come up with an average at most at um, 90 calories. 90 calories. Now to put this in perspective, these are not as much meat as say a KFC strip, like their, their actual deep fried one. But one KFC strip, honey, is 260 calories. 260 calories, guys, for one strip. We're telling you these are 90. 90, guys, and that's that's the biggest of these is 90. Some of these are more like 70 or 80. So, with that said, this is one of those things where you can go out and eat six or eight of these and not feel bad, honestly. Because you're having a five or six hundred dollar meal, I mean five or six hundred calorie meal, five or six hundred dollars if you made that kind of money. <laughs> but it's a five or six hundred calorie meal. Basically, if you want to get really easy, each one of these strips that I cut up, if you added it up at a hundred calories, five or six hundred calories is perfect for a dinner. Mm -hmm. Now, if you took four or five of these and then had some green beans with it and a small salad, you've got a full on meal for low calories. This is how we eat good. And end up losing weight. Yeah. Now this is this is mine. You get none. <laughs> Thanks for cooking them for me. But that said, we do have an entire new load loaded up in there. Got one of the kids coming over. Chris gonna come over and have dinner with us. So with that said, I'm gonna tell you now. Try this recipe. Come back to the comments. Let us know what you think about it. The air fryer is your best friend. Mm -hmm. Think about coming home. You want to make dinner for your family. You have your chicken thawed out. You slice it up. Throw it in there. 15 minutes later. While that's cooking, you can be throwing some sides in the microwave or in the steamer. You know, quick, easy, efficient dinner. Don't forget the sugar-free barbecue sauce or sugar-free ketchup, whatever you like. But eat healthy, but damn it, enjoy it. <laughs> don't, don't not enjoy it. You don't have it. to starve. There's no point in starving. There's no point in eating food you don't like. Make it fit what you want. This is, mm -hmm. I guarantee you, any kids will tear this up. They get their first bite, it's over. They will demolish it. And you can feel good about feeding it to them and eating it yourself. So you're not having to have something different from them. With that said, if you haven't already, and I don't know why you wouldn't have, go down, hit that subscribe button so you can see all of our upcoming videos. Make sure while you're down there, you hit the notification bell so you get a notification every time we put out new and fabulous content. Make sure you give the video a like for the YouTube algorithm so it can get this video put in front of more eyes so more people can enjoy these good recipes. And we will see you in the next one. Now, good job. Now, make me my other batch. That batch, okay, I'll take the hot ones.